Uh, it, it is wonderful. And Larry and, does his own babies too. He saves. Uh, yeah, we we raise, we raise our own. Numbers. We we raise our own calves. I mean, we don't buy any other calves, but we we raise our own. Um, on the mastitis on the cows, we were Rhonda talked us into trying some on the mastitis. What we've done last spring, if we had a cow that showed mastitis, we would drench her with a quart of EM. Orally, and within two days, the counts would be down. Now it would depend on what kind of mastitis you got. I mean, if y'all any dairymen in here? Yeah. Okay, you depends on you know what kind of mastitis you got. Now it, there is a couple of them that it does not work on, but most all of them it does work. So we 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 went three months without treating the cow for mastitis. We were just putting the EM in them last spring. Well then, and then uh, in the summertime around here, it gets just extremely hot last summer anyhow, and that, that is really hard on cows too. That's our biggest time of mastitis. And well, Rhonda got us one of these medicators. She said, run it through the water and, and give it to them. And we done that last summer. Well, the way we're set up, the way the cows come out of the milk house and go around, they, the automatic water is right there, which you can't get no EM in it there. So when they go out to pasture, they got to go buy a tank out there. So we hooked it on to, to where the medicator would go into it, and we made it strong in that tank. I mean, we went uh, a gallon of EM to activate it to a gallon of water, and then it went through the medicator, which would be 1 to, one to yeah. 125 yeah. on that one. Well, double and it, Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she said, oh, you got way too much. I said, well, I said, it won't be way too much because, see, that's the only place they're getting it is out there. And then when they come back in through the barn, they drink up there and don't have anything in it. And we just hardly didn't have any mastitis last summer. As far as being sick, we haven't lost a calf since we've been using it. So we put it in the, in the bottle of milk. When we, we bottled all of them. And we put... Uh, Roughly 60 cc's a, a day in them. 60 yeah. Rhonda says we're too high, but I mean, if they're. We haven't had any sick ones, yeah. that's the way to go. <laughs> and then we had to twist the stomachs all the time with the gas on the stomachs last spring or, or a year ago. So we, we treated all the hay. That's my baler sitting out here with the sprayer on it. Yeah. I'm the baler guy, <laughs> and we sprayed all the hay that, it, that we've done for ourselves and Rhonda, we sprayed. Baylor out here got a 25-gallon tank on it. We yeah. put a 5-gallon of EM and then 20-gallon of water, and that'll do And roughly, I think that's a little bit heavy. She says we're heavy, and that'll do roughly 30 bales. Now, when we, st when we start to bail, you know, in Baylor, some of them, well, this is a high-moisture baler. It's supposed to start, but we bail fast all the time. Yeah. That little circle in the middle don't have any on. We turn, we got a switch in the tractor after it starts to bail, we turn it on and then the, when the monitor beeps when it's ready to tie, we shut it off. And it depends on how heavy your hay is, if you get 30 or if you get 40 bales, but most of them are running 30. And that's another thing on your EM, with putting it on there, you will not have mold in that hay. I don't, I don't, I haven't, this is the first year I've used it. I don't know how high you can go in moisture without it molding. But, you know, if you got regularly dry hay without it on there, you've got to be under 18% before you will not have any mold in your hay.